Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Reassembly. It is great to have you all here today. So let's go ahead and kick it back down into our uh, our save here with the Grim Reapers. So as you saw in the beginning there, let's check this out. This is the Zorg Battle Cruiser. It's the latest ship I've been working on. This is huge, and uh, I got a big fleet with me uh, right now. Let's let's take a look at the ship builds. So here's the Zorg Battle Cruiser. This is a 4300p ship. I've been playing quite a bit off camera trying to make a little bit of progress and I uh, spent quite a while building this I also have another ship I built we'll take a look at these ships so first I, I worked on this ship called the Brundlefly this was a pretty fun ship so this is part of our fleets now it's pretty powerful uh, this was my first attempt at adding more armor to ships uh, with decent storage you know decent harvesting and decent firepower overall this is just a decent ship it it can die pretty quick here is the command module buried within all of this armor so this one's not bad. I played with that one for a while, and then I finally worked on the Zorg Battle Cruiser. Look at this. This thing's so huge. Look how tiny our command module is. It's right here. <laughs> it's so big. Uh, this was my first super large build, and uh, this thing is truly a blast to fly around. Now we have a factory over here, and just one of the bigger plasma cannons here. It's mainly all plasma cannons, the uh, medium-sized plasma cannons that I had to unlock. And on top of that, we have a bunch of short-range lasers and point defense systems and flat cannons. These are all set to point defense. You know, got to keep us safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe, says Gandalf or whatever. Put the ring in the envelope, gosh darn it. And I uh, got a bunch of storage containers, tons of thrusters. This thing weighed so much, it's unbelievable. And uh, this is what I've been rolling with. So part of its factory is it can spawn these little ships called the Zorgling that I built. Has a big thruster on it, one generator and pretty much a burst laser. This is the most expensive component on the whole ship. You can see the ship cost is 127p. So right now, you know, we have 59 of these little Zorglings rocking around with us. Let's take a look at the map. So we've uncovered quite a bit. I've actually taken out two or three agents myself. Uh, some of them very tough. Uh, big battles and you know some of the agent ships are just massive. I, this game's getting awesome. Like the ships that I'm encountering now are getting huge. I know I've uh, unlocked two or three more factions, so I'm thinking as part of this episode, this will probably be the last episode that we have with this faction, and we're gonna we're gonna go to a wormhole and make sure we can uh, get our fleet copied over for other players to play, and uh, you know by the end of this episode we'll be ready to rock with a new faction. I think take everything we learned with this one and, and play a new one. Question is, what do we want to play? I don't know. So yeah, you can see these little guys with these little burst lasers are much better. I really like it, especially, yeah, look at that, when they start swarming, boo, it's beep, 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 it's lasers everywhere, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so let's do this, let's work our way, uh, I, th I want to say this faction actually is, like, really tough, let's go try. Let's go try, anyone who gets too close to us is just gonna be gone, like that guy. I want to make sure I can stop here, yeah, the hardest thing I noticed with the big build it's it's your ship mass, you know. Your ship is so ginormous. Oh, here we go. We got a station. A couple of factions fighting each other right now. I'm gonna come in here and just wail away on this station. Watch this. Boom! There we go. And now we can spawn in a bunch more ships. So I'm gonna start doing that. Just pressing F here. That's every time you see that minus 127. I'm spawning in a ship, essentially. See all my little guys over there? They are attacking my targets. They're actually really great. This is uh, much better as far as like little fleet snoogs go. You know what I mean? Little little tiny fleet snoogs. Okay, let's keep heading over towards... This is so fantastic right now. This game's getting so epic. You know what would be amazing? Okay, if you could take what Escape Velocity was. If you don't know what it is, go check it out. It, it's kind of a top-down space... You know, a game like this, you don't really build your ships, but there are factions and you trade, and the, the universe is alive and you can quest. It'd be great if you could, like, get some amalgamation of these two games together, like a super awesome version of this in, in Escape Velocity. So we're fighting another faction right now. This is by, let's see, uh, DHR Landsman or some such. Here's with these little red ships. So there's generally one ship that is the faction leader ship. Uh, that's what the arrows are pointing at. So that's where we're going to go. It's this one right here. This guy had just like a really tiny faction that he brought over. 
We're gonna be sending over a massive fleet. It's not even gonna be funny. Look at this, we're just... <laughs> okay, we got 42 ships in the fleet. I'm gonna keep, keep whipping them out here. I don't know if I could technically like... Yeah, so we just defeated that agent fleet. I mean, he's st he'll still have agent ships, but uh, we defeated the main, like, the head of the fleet, I guess. We took the head off the fleet. That's the way to do it. You know, when in doubt, let's just, like, snip the old head off. That does not sound right. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. Ooh, what do we have here? The ship called Long Skinny. We're going to go for that one. We are going to get that one. Let's see. Look at this one. Look at these little ships. We're gonna wreck this guy. No shields? I don't think so. Hang on, let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and upgrade our P. And uh, let's, let's, quick, what I wanna do here is get more shielding up front. That seems to be the, uh, the, the thing people will be attacking first. Can I have another shield? Oh, that's right, you know the weird thing is the ship is off center by like a few pixels. See, I can't put anything down here. How stupid is that? I can do this though. Yeah, I wanted to make this just so much harder to shoot through, you know? Um, let's see. A little weird with the shields out in the open like this, but that's okay. Hmm. We could do something like this. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I mean, you know, man, we're just uh, getting a little bit of protection on there. That's all. Like so, like so. No. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's that's better shielding up front. Yeah, baby. Yeah. We'll do the same over here. Can we squeech another one? Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're just over. We're over by like 20. Okay, that's an easy... Easy problem to solve. I'll just get rid of some of these little tiny thrusters to get us back. These little ones don't do much. There we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Save. Yes, please. <laughs> so we lost... Wow, we lost a bunch of our uh, spawned ships. What went on there? We had like 40. Well, I guess they were just getting wrecked, you know? What can you do? All right, let's take these guys out. I, what I don't know is the name of the factions. Like, what's the blue faction? I don't know. I need, like, a little guide in front of me or something. Okay, something's weird. Whenever I try to break my ship... Okay, no, no, no. It's good. All right. The ship mass is just so huge. Sometimes it's a little tough to do things like break and... Oh, I want this. I want to, I want to shoot this guy. Look at this. It's a 3,500p ship. Let's get in there. Getting right down to his core. Wow, we took him out quick. So the cool thing is, when you defeat a ship this big and it's just floating around, all these parts are parts that your other ships can uh, can squeeze onto their ships. Every now and then, you'll see them like tractor beam. See, like look at this guy right here. He's got all sorts. He's got like a, an orange guy's part on there. This guy has one of the cannons. <laughs> it's so very cool. All right, so we were heading over to that wormhole. Looks like we're, well, dealing with a little bit of opposition here. Nothing too bad. Oh my goodness, look at this. Holy smokes. Wow. Screenshot. Screenshot that. Wow, we took that out quick. So that's, that's the problem. Like, if you don't have very good defense on your command module... Uh, you'll get you'll get cored like really quickly. All right, let's keep going here. Let's just take these guys out. This is so fantastic. I'm loving this battle cruiser that I built. Look at this. We are dishing it. Just get this guy cored him. There we go. See, look at that. All that extra ship. For them to get to me, they'll have to go through a bunch of layers of shields and some more blocks. I don't know. It's the way to go. Uh, we could. Oh yeah. So we've been losing. A bunch of our ships. In fact, my factory's not even on my ship right now. Making it kind of hard. Oh, that guy just drank all those resources. You gripped nerd. We're down to four ships in our fleet. We've been losing them all. Here we go. All right, I'm spawning again. So we know how easy these guys are. We're just going to go right in here and core the heck out of this guy. There we go. I'm going to keep bringing in the uh, ships. 
We're getting R like crazy at this point. Oh, man. I like really want to see other people try to fight this ship now. That'd be so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get this other... You know what's weird? Ever since I built a station, it is the only station that populates the world. And it's so tiny. Well, I need to build a really big one. It shoots a lot of missiles, though. That's for sure. Okay, so we got the uh, wormhole right up here. But... We got another agent right over here. Let's go to this agent first. Get some ships spawned in. There we go. We got 40 ships in the fleet. 37. They seem to really just die super quick. All right, we're getting down here. Let's do this. My friends, brace yourselves. My nerds are squeeching right now. I want to I wanna let you all in on a little secret, though. Just a little secret. My pants are off. Okay, the end. Secret over. Wow, look at the shielding on these guys. Gravelord the Dancing Neko? I don't know what that really said. Let's take them out. We're taking some stuff out, but these guys are so heavily shielded. Can they handle the Zorg battle cruiser? I don't know. We seem to be doing okay. Uh, looks like they shot my factory off, though. So I can't spawn any more extra fleets. There's the head ship right there. I wonder if it makes your biggest ship the, the leader. Oh, you're dead. You got stuck on an asteroid, you're dead. <laughs> so there you can see, uh, destroyed Gravelord the Dancing Neko's fleet. We got a thousand credits for that. His agent icon is off the screen. So that was it. I mean, we took him out. Look at his split. Let's get over here to this wormhole. This is great. Like, we're, we're really getting into the game now, I think. I'm really starting to feel comfortable with it. I, I woke up this morning around 6 a.m., and uh, it's around almost noon right now, and I've been playing the whole time, like, just having a blast. You, you know what I mean? Just cruising the galaxy in the old Zorg battle cruiser. Like, look at this guy. Gotta get him. Gotta catch them all. These red asteroids, by the way, are dangerous. They do explode if you hit them. So you gotta be careful. All right, let's get over here. Let's take out a bunch of these ships. So easy. These ships are, like, way too easy. Boom! All right, just blowing up in the asteroid there. Spawning a bunch more guys in the fleet. All right, here's a wormhole. This is the first time, ladies and gentlemen, that I have ever gone to a wormhole. I don't know what to expect. Something's gonna happen. Oh my God, I'm scared. We're going in. Oh, the spatial anomaly connects parallel universes. Objects entering the wormhole travel to all universes simultaneously, splitting into innumerable quantum states. That sounds sweet. You may only experience one universe at a time. Where would you like to go? Let's see. So if we follow the wormhole, your consciousness will be transported to a new area. Let's do it. Oh, uploading. Sweet. So that uploaded us. We are populating someone else's map, and we're in a new map now. We followed a wormhole. So we could, like... Oh, this guy's, this guy's fleet is huge. Let's go check it out. Looks like it took out all of my uh, fleet ships that we had. That's okay. You know, it's all about the exploration at this point. Oh, fresh galaxy. We should probably get um, some damage stations, you know. We need to start getting the galaxy populated with our fleets. That's the whole deal. That's, that's the dealio right there. That's the deal McSqueeps. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, he's dead. Here we go. Oh, look, it's another station that I built. What do you know? Can I target this up here? Looks like a bunch of solar arrays or something. Hmm, nope. Alright, well, we have uh, an undamaged station now. We can almost spawn in one of our first ships. Oh, I'm curious what I want to build next. You know, I noticed a lot of players will build uniform, like... Like this armor design. I, like, I could actually take that and build a bunch of smaller ships, all kind of similar to the battlecruiser. Maybe we'll do that with the next faction. Like, I'll try to build ships in a... A similar fashion, you know? All right, let's keep going here. We're going to work our way up to this undamaged station. I'm going to unlock this first. And then I would like... I would very much like to uh, go check out that other agent ship. I mean, why not? We have 39... We have 39 hunge credits. Let's go and unlock these. Let's just say we got everything unlocked for the humans. That's actually going to be a sweet accomplishment. There we go. Who could ask for anything more? 
probably a whore. She probably could, maybe. Like, ask for, you know, a little, little bit more, maybe. Just, you know, just make the day go by a little bit easier. We're just cruising around the galaxy. This is really, like, the greatest thing ever. Just, you know, you're just by your lonesome in the galaxy. Let's get this agent selected. I want to make sure we're going to be targeting the, the head honcho ship. We're getting close. Oh, here we go. This is his, uh... Something called a P station. Interesting. You're dead. Okay, we're starting to spawn. Here we go. Th this is, uh... Player fleet. Ooh, pretty good shielding. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. We're gonna get wrecked here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get them. We're dying. Oh, they got us. Wow. Okay, so we gotta come in here with, um... We gotta get a bigger fleet on our side. I like how my ship is so much bigger than the station. Oh boy. So the problem here now is this, this, uh... This guy's fleet is, is on the loose now by Mark. Great name. Oh, Mark's fleet, you know, really gets the job done. At the end of the day, that's just what matters the most. All right, I'm gonna sneak up here again. This guy has some huge ships. He ate through the front armor of my ship so fast. Oh, Shiza, I can't stop. Well, let's try to take some out. There's one. There's another. Okay, they have, uh, they're about to core me here. Oh, man, we took out two ships. Oh, my goodness. That's ridiculous. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, how about this? Let me know what you want to do. Should we keep exploring the new galaxy, fighting agents, and uh, trying some new builds with the Terrans or the humans? Or do you want to roll another faction? And if so, what faction should we go for next? These are the questions that, uh, they're, that they're on my mind, you know? that I don't know, I, I want to do one of those. We could keep exploring or, or do a new faction. And if we do a new faction, obviously we'll be starting off small. But, um, you know, I think we'll be able to hit the ground running a lot faster this time. So let me know if you have an opinion on it, and if you've made it this far in the episode, that would be super fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. It's been great having you here today. I look forward to having you in the next episode. It's going to be a blast, whatever we do. And until then, hope you all have an absolutely great day. Take it easy, and stay classy.